decided to make chicken spaghetti for dinner. Chicken will be separate for the kids. They don't like meat in their spaghetti, even if it's chicken, but it'll be good. And I want to try out a new sauce, so we'll see. I've got my noodles boiling. I've got my chicken going. Just adding some seasoning. And we're going to cook that up. Fun fact, too. Zach will not eat any other noodles that are not linguine. So that's the only noodles we're basically allowed to have in our house. I like penne, or however you say it, but he absolutely hates penne. And spaghetti noodles, like regular spaghetti noodles to me are fine, but he has to have linguine. So everything is linguine. I love linguine. But the only thing that I, like I like pasties. Don't like keen penne, however you want to say it. And if I have a choice between spaghetti noodles or linguine noodles, I will always choose linguine noodles. But I'm interested to see how this turns out. Do you tell me? No, the with the sour cream. Oh, yeah. Have you, you haven't done that part yet? No. Yeah, I'm interested to see how that works out. Can't be bad, right? Just make cream. But she'll show you everything that's going on here. Alright, my chicken's done, so I'll put that in there. Now I'm gonna add my sauce. Yeah. Okay, and we're just gonna try this. We're gonna put some sour cream in. I guess the point is to just try to make it a little bit different and creamier. I just really don't like plain spaghetti. And I don't know, maybe this will be better. Maybe it won't. Turns out it still tastes like spaghetti. <laughs> it was good. It was good. <laughs> I mean, if you like spaghetti, it was good. But I just kind of hope it would make it a little bit different, you know? Well, I explain a little bit more to you. You're just not a huge fan of ranch sauce. I'm really not. Yeah. No, I just really don't. Like, I'm not a really a fan of spaghetti. But me and the kids are. Yeah. She did a fantastic job. It was good. Okay, before we go introduce you to all the new babies on the farm, because you all haven't got to see them yet, I did want to let you know that everything is pretty much back in stock right now. We have all of our tinctures pretty much in stock. All of the teas just got bagged up this week, so they're all in stock. And we have plenty of goat smoke soap. The goat smoke soap deal is still going on, so if you buy two bars, you will get $2 off each bar of soap but you just have to at least have two in your cart for to see that um always free shipping fifty dollars or more but the mother's day sale has now ended so everything has full price again uh, but you still got some discounts that are out there we want to let you know a lot of the phases are there let's go check out some pretty babies so first off this one's gonna be kind of hard to see they run away pretty quick mama turkey finally produced a baby so every year she sits on her eggs um, but she's always just never had any truly hatch, or if they have, we've never seen them. But she finally has one, and we got a little baby turkey running around with her. Hey, you did good, Mama. Proud Papa's over here. Give him a holler. <laughs> <laughs> and now for all the baby goats. We have a bunch of them laying around here. So here's Lucy's two. They're both little boys. Little bucklings are cute. And then somehow Mama Anna has got all the other babies. So Anna had two, the two white ones. Jane here had the middle white one. And then Ethel, which was back there, had the other. Actually, no, scratch that. Ethel had the two white ones. Jane had the middle white one. And the two brown ones are Anna's right here sitting together. Right there, toot. Hi, Lucy. You good, Mama. She's probably the chillest one. This is Jane's baby. There's a lazy Ethel. I found one other mama. We have three hens that also hatch some eggs. Now they're real protective of their babies. There's mama. I guess baby got lost somewhere in the mix. Ow. They went over there. 
So between baby chicks, baby turkeys, baby goats, there's a lot of new life on this farm. Um, the baby goats, if you all have been around for a while, you know last year we downsized a lot. We got, we were up to 40, 50 goats um, that we had full size of goats. And some of them weren't the greatest mamas, some of them weren't the breed that we were wanting to kind of stay in line with. And so we downsized considerably. Um, I do think last year we had about 15 mamas give birth and that's what really just blew everything up and gave us a lot of babies. Um, but we did downsize to where we just had a few mamas. Um, and so the goats that we have, we're going to watch them, see how they do, um, see if they fit in real well with the group. Um, so some of the does may stay, but all the bucklings we will move on from. Um, and the doe-ins, we'll just we'll kind of wait and see. We'll see if we want to continue to expand our flock or if we want to keep it to where we are. Because a lot of our goats are getting older. Um, Butters, you know, she's upwards of the double digits, uh, over 10, let's say that. So she's definitely starting to get old. Anna's around seven, seven years old. Um, so some of our our true and tested mothers um, are getting close to their retirement stage. Um, but we will always breed our goats because we always want the milk. Um, we use the goat milk a lot. The babies are now old enough to start kid sharing. We'll actually probably start doing that tonight um, to where we separate the moms and the kids. We get the milk in the morning and then we let them have each other the rest of the day and then just keep that processing going at night. So that's just us kid sharing um, with the kids to get the milk. And then for the baby turkeys and baby chicks, you know, we love that happening every year. We, we are so proud of the mama hens um, that go broody and are eight, like successfully able to hatch chicks. That stops us from having to, you know, buy new chicks and making sure that our flock's staying young. So we don't know what they're gonna become. They're all little right now and you can't really get close to them to sex them. Um, but if they turn into roosters, they'll be meat. If they turn into hens, they'll be laying hens. Um, we have a good mix of breeds around here that work out for both. So it's really up to whatever that animal is what their sex is because we have plenty of roosters around here we don't need more so that'll be stuff that goes in our freezer and then if it's hens that'll just be more new laying hens um, that are just kind of replacing some of the older ones that are dying out so it's just a a full circle farm which i love um, i love that we don't have to buy as much you know like the animals are starting to become what they're supposed to be and it's just kind of keeping that cycle going of older babies bringing the new let the old retire and kind of flow out and it's just a real nice comfortable feeling that we have going on right now what is not comfortable is that garden over there so uh, it's it looks nice right now but we literally have severe storms coming in in like the next hour we get so much rain yesterday i was finally able to mow the hay field of grass that we had and i'm hoping to really start tearing out that garden because we're starting to feel those stressors right of like oh we're behind we're behind we're behind maybe right but also even if i had the gardens cleared out with all this rain we had i wouldn't be planting my seed um, i wouldn't want to plant that over there because these bad storms would probably just kill my seedlings so we need to wait anyways but i just hope i can get a break and start really tying or tearing down the weeds that are in the garden and getting them ready for planting so if you are facing that i know i've got some friends that i've been talking to and this weather has been just difficult it just rained on me um, it's been difficult um, to get ahead because of the rain that we're having be patient it's a long growing season we will get the plants in the ground and just know that it's going to be a better time once we get past this really bad rainy season i do however have some flowers going in this bed which you all saw raylan and i plant so they're going nice and looking good they haven't been beat down too hard by the rain that we've had i'm so excited to see them to continue to grow everything looks really nice and healthy